Well, before your kids suit up in costume and race out the door to trick or treat, keep in mind the risk that can come with Halloween fun. CBS 11's Jennifer Lingren is live in Dallas to explain. Jen. Well, Russ, the scariest thing out there tonight may not be the costumes or the decor, but what's out in the road? As AAA tells us, the risks of kids getting hit by cars goes up on Halloween. Experts say safety needs to be top of mind tonight. Happy Halloween. Before you head out the door on the Halloween hunt for sweet treats, consider this. According to AAA Texas, the fifth leading cause of death for children in the U.S. is being hit by a car. The idea is be smart, be safe, and be seen. And Daniel Armbruster is with AAA Texas and shows us some easy ways to make an eye-catching costume stand out even more. It has a reflective material on the front, but when you turn it over on the back, there's nothing. And this black costume in, in, at nighttime can be dangerous. You can't see it until you're right up on it. Reflective tape helps that, uh, you know, when the headlights hit that, a car will see that reflective tape, a driver will. He also recommends face paint over masks, which can limit vision. Grab a flashlight to light the path and alert drivers to your presence. Glow sticks are another great and affordable way to amp up your visibility on your child's costume this Halloween. Heading out to a Halloween party? Plan how to get home first. Especially during holidays, of course, we see this uh, an, an increase in drunk driving accidents. We don't want to see that this Halloween. And keep an eye out for these teal pumpkins. One outside the home lets families know there's a non food treat available for kids who have serious food allergies. That way, no one is left out of the fun. And at the end of the night, before letting your kids dive into the loot, sort it out. Be sure to throw away any candy that doesn't come in a wrapper or check those brand named candies for tears and signs of discoloration, anything that could indicate it might have been tampered with. Live in Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.